Okay, we did one of these last night, and it didn't turn out too hot after viewing it, so I opted to uh, do another one. So, uh, <clears throat> last night I went to the range, I went for an hour. Um, I wanted to put more rounds through my uh, my grand power. Um, so, I took that and the Bursa with me. And I also took a 1911, but I actually left that in the bag. I wanted to uh, uh, have more time with my carry gun than I normally would. And the session was only an hour long. Um, and plus, I didn't have any uh, <clears throat> any 9mm ammo. So I... I bought some at the range and it was a little bit expensive so about a hundred rounds of uh what is it uh american eagle 115 grain um and fired all 100 within a 40 minute time span and uh i'll show you what the targets look like so i always fire uh <clears throat> I always fire it at seven yards. And I'm trying to figure out. I think it was this one that was first. And yeah, I tore up that that mill. And then I started getting a little bit bold and trying to uh, shoot the head, trying to do some rapid fire, and uh, in a smaller target area. Of course, I had a few strings, but uh, yeah, it's, this gun, I, I'm loving the grand power. <clears throat> I'm now thinking about maybe getting a, trading up, maybe selling the grand power and getting a, uh, a P1, grand power P1, which is a little bit bigger than the P11, and plus it has a, a interchangeable, uh, Back straps, and there's also the P the P1 Ultra, which uh, actually has slide cutouts. Um, I do believe it has a fiber op fiber optic uh, front sight. Um, beautiful gun. Um, that P1 Ultra is going to cost me though if I get that. Um, but but I don't know. I mean, I also I've been thinking about this the new CZ Striker Fire gun. Uh, I think the P10. Is what it's called. Um, that's actually supposedly pretty nice. And then I've also been thinking about a Glock 22, uh, specifically a uh, a Leo trade-in uh, because those run cheaper um, and they tend to be well taken care of. Um, mainly because I mean I, I'm, I'm usually not big on full-size guns. Glock 22 is a full-size gun. Um, I also don't have a 40. Um, I miss shooting a 40, and my first gun should have been a 40, but uh, I went 45 instead. So uh, <clears throat> the main reason for wanting that gun is because I wanted to get a grand. Uh, I wanted to get a, uh, a 22 TCM 9R uh, conversion kit for it. Um, then by the time I get done buying a cheap Glock 22, uh, police trade in and the conversion kit is probably going to be like 670 bucks or something like that. So, and, and as it is right now, the conversion kits aren't even available. So what I could do is I could just go ahead and get the Glock 22 and then six months to a year out you know get the get a conversion kit but anyway here's the here's the second uh so uh, 50 rounds out of i shot 50 rounds into this target and 50 rounds into the other one so i had no issues out of that 100 rounds no jams, no uh, 
no failures to return the battery, nothing whatsoever. Um, no lube problems. Um, in fact, it was dirty. It was still dirty from the last trip, and, but it wasn't that dirty. Um, I didn't clean it, and I think I fired like 40 rounds out of it. <clears throat> it the previous visit. So a total of uh, 150 rounds dirty. Um, which isn't too bad. I mean, the, the ammo that, I'm, that I've shot really wasn't dirty to begin with. So, so this is the Bursa. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you right now that, uh, the, uh, the Bursa Thunder Plus, uh, 380 Plus, is not a bad gun. Uh, compared to my, uh, Grand Power, uh, it's just it's not a good comparison at all. And I mean, even the target shows it. Uh, but the target also uh, shows that, you know, looking at <clears throat> the other two targets in this one, um, and the fact that I've put 817 rounds through the Grand Power, um, and I carry that, I'm more familiar with the Grand Power uh, by far, uh, shooting wise. So uh, I'm familiar with the trigger. I'm familiar with the uh, uh, double action. Um, I'm familiar with the uh, with the fact that I can actually uh, uh, do some uh, pretty quick follow-on shots. Um, this isn't bad. It just looks like buckshot, and every single one of those, almost every single one, with the exception of, of over here, is uh, is on target. Um, up here, you see right here, a lot of these were DA shots where I was practicing trying to shoot the uh, Bursa in DA mode. And that, that trigger stroke in DA mode is very, very long. Uh, much longer than what the Grand Power is. And probably more on par with my uh, TriStar T100. That that's a very long uh, stroke as well, and probably a little bit stronger than uh, what's on the Bursa. But um, I actually hit hit <clears throat> the bullseye quite a bit, um, but I actually had to uh, had to take my time. Uh, the sights on that gun are very small; they're low profile. Um, they're hard for me to actually see, um, and then. The fact that that gun is a, uh, it's a bit smaller. It feels like it's. I think they're roughly the same size. Uh, that and the Grand Power, uh, but for some reason, my finger wraps around the trigger. Um, so when I'm shooting, I'm not shooting with the pad of my finger. I'm in. I'm probably shooting like way back here, where the first joint is, and uh, that's playing havoc with. Uh, my uh, the way I actu actuate the trigger, but all in all, this isn't bad, and uh, this is 125 rounds. Um, I'm trying to remember what I shot, uh, what ammo, uh, Winchester white box, 100, um, and I still had a magazine. and a half of a uh, gecko actually two magazines of gecko uh, the gecko was 115 grain uh, the Winchester white box uh, yeah let's talk about that the Winchester white box was 115 grain but it was I didn't know this until after I bought it because it, it actually wasn't labeled on the box um, when I saw it I saw that it was uh, FMJ that was labeled on the outside of the box uh, in 380 and it was Winchester white box and it was cheap so I said okay let me get a box uh, got home open up the box and <laughs> it was more than just FMJ it was flat nose um, I didn't really want flat nose because from what I understood um, uh, Bursa of Thunders didn't like flat nose uh, I guess a lot of people were complaining that it didn't agree 
with the feed ramp and, and you know it would cause jams uh, trying to feed. <coughs> well, a testament to Bursa, uh, it shot all hundred of those rounds with not one single issue, no hiccups. Um, the gun is dirty as hell. I need to clean it. Um, the recoil is a little bit uh, surprisingly. I think it was a little bit, a little bit more than what I'm used to. Um, I don't know. It's just me not being used to the gun, but uh, it felt like it had more recoil than what I would fire out of the out of the grand power. But that's not really fair. I mean, for one, it's a blowback blowback gun. Um, the uh, Bursa is. So there is that. Uh, some people say that uh, blowback guns uh, have a bit more recoil than than the standard type of a uh, uh, semi-automatic handgun. Um, I didn't notice the first, but I didn't fire that fire it that much the the first time I took it to the range. I think I put maybe 30 rounds through it. Let me check my log real quick. <laughs> yeah, I put 34 rounds through it in my first range visit, and I'm looking at the notes here. Let me see here. Uh, no jams. Uh, fired Federal FMJ 95 grain. Gunfire is great, very accurate with less recoil than <clears throat> than what I'm used to. Uh, rear, rear sights are difficult to use since the dots are so small. I can fire this gun relatively quickly and still be relatively accurate. That was my notes from earlier in the year. Um, so I'm still having a problem with the sights. I'm wondering if I could change them out. But I don't hear a lot of people changing uh, sights out on their bursas. I don't, I don't know if it's possible. That's something I can research. Uh, but yeah, so now I have 159 rounds through that gun. Um, I don't plan on carrying it. I'm just comfortable with the P11 right now. And if I were to switch, I'd probably go back to the Springfield uh, uh, XD9 Mod 2. Um, and I have other options as well. I've, I've been thinking about uh, carrying the Glock 19. Um, so, I listed a couple of guns that I might want. Uh, the CZP-10, uh, the Glock 22, um, the Grand Power P1, um, no more Bursa. There's really no need. Um, there really isn't much difference between the Plus and the non Plus uh, Bursa Thunder 380s. Um, the biggest difference is one is double stacked and one is not. But I mean, they're so similar that they use the same holsters because uh, the only difference is in the grip area, right? So, uh, uh, so no more Bursa. Um, I was thinking maybe selling one of the Canics and getting that uh, Canic TP9 uh, SF Elite, which is supposed to be compact size. The grip is compact size. The uh, slide really is not, but it compares very well with the Glock 19. Uh, the grip size is almost the same. The barrel is just a tad bit longer than the Glock 19, so. I figure if that's the case, you know, at first I was kind of upset when I saw that they really didn't shorten the gun all that much. Um, I was expecting more like grand power size, a bit smaller than the, uh, than the, uh, 
and then the Glock 19, but no. Um, so uh, I was a bit disappointed, but then after I saw it side by side with the Glock 19, I was like, okay, I mean, could be worse, right? Has supposedly has a great trigger. It's got good sights, and actually, you can swap them out now. Um, the paint looks very nice. Um, uh, resets very good. Triggers very good. Um, it's got fiber optic front sight, uh, so it's it's very nice. Uh, it's it's creeping up in price though. I believe. Uh, Some people are saying they were getting them for right at 400 bucks, 405, 407 bucks. Um, that's probably about a hundred dollars more than what people were paying for the SF, uh, or maybe seventy dollars more. I think they, though, I think a lot of those are going for between 360, uh, 330 and 365. Uh, the SA models were right at uh, 299. I got mine. I got my first one for like 320 and then the uh, the FDE for uh, 3 330. Uh, then, you know, if I was to trade one or the other, I'm not sure which one it would be. I, I would probably keep the FDE because it does look nice, but what I've been doing is I've been I've been swapping the, the slides from one to the other trying to uh, make a unique looking gun um, so so I've got 816 rounds shot out of the grand power uh, my next uh, most shot gun is the uh, XD9 uh, the Springfield uh, with 310 uh, the next one is the 6 hour SP 2022 um, the next one is the Rock Island 22 TCM, and then after that, uh, it, it becomes kind of neck and neck. But by far, I've shot the most out of the Grand Power P11. And part of that was because I was having those issues with uh, uh, the Remington ammo uh, earlier in the year. I think I have several uh, blog posts on that and several uh, videos. But nothing since I've had no issues whatsoever, no hiccups, uh, no failures to return the battery, no nothing since uh, May. So I'm thinking maybe by the end of the year I have a thousand rounds out of the gun. Uh, this last visit was rather expensive. I think it's sixty dollars for a range visit. And it's probably because I ended up buying that ammo, you know, I think it's twenty dollars for for the session, for an hour session, uh, and probably it was twenty dollars a box for uh, a box of fifty uh, American Eagle. Um, so I'm thinking about getting a range membership at the range that I go to, which is a uh, at Elite Shooting Sports in uh, Manassas, Virginia, or Gainesville, Virginia. I don't, I'm not sure where. It's about 10 minutes from me, and I live in Gainesville. I do believe uh, the company states that they're based out of Gainesville. But um, I am trying to speed up my my aiming and my shooting doing very well with the grand power I every time I go to the range I always forget that I need to start start training to shoot one armed um, you know in case you know I'm in a firefight and I get wounded I want to be able to still you know be able to shoot you know if I, you know if I get shot in the arm or anything like that so uh, what's going to be especially prob problematic is my left hand um, I am not good at all with my uh, weak hand um, so we'll need to work on that I also want to start speeding up 
I want to be able to start doing double taps. Um, and I, I swear, every time I go to the range, I forget. Um, so I think that's why I need a, a membership. So that, you know, if I get a membership, I can visit there anytime I want. Um, without, uh, you know, because I'm already paying for the, the membership. Um, so I can just drop by and not have to pay for a range session. Uh, the only thing I probably have to pay for is ammo. Ammo and targets. So uh, that's it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that. I, oh yeah, I bought uh, three new uh, Grand Power magazines from, which you know, cheaper than dirt. I know a lot of people uh, don't like treat cheaper than dirt, but uh, they had the best price. Um, and those magazines are not cheap for the Grand Power. Um, I got these for, I think, 42 a piece. Those were the cheapest uh, by, by a decent amount, relatively. Uh, I saw prices as high as 60 bucks. Um, even um, even at the distributor, um, the importer, Eagle Arms, Eagle Imports, they uh, they were selling them for I think like 54. Um, so I went with cheaper than dirt, and I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have because. I ordered three 12 round uh, magazines to augment the two that are, you know, that came with the gun. Uh, so I would have had a total of five 12 round magazines. Um, the day they came in, it took a week for them to come in. I opened up the box and without reading the label, I opened up one uh, magazine package and I clear my gun and I. Uh, <clears throat> insert the magazine and I'm like what the hell this shit isn't working right um, and then I looked and I said they sent me the wrong magazines it fit and it was Grand Power, Grand Power magazine but it, I think it was for the P1 uh, it was a 15 round but all three of them are 15 round magazines they fit but um they stick out a bit and really they're just uh, repurposed I believe repurposed uh, CZ mags um, they don't. I tried the magazines and all the rest of my guns that I have. Um, it actually fit in the uh, the only I, the only gun it fit in was the uh, actually two guns. Um, the T100, which is basically a CZ derivative, um, but it would I would have needed to trim uh, some of the top of the magazine off because it was rubbing against the slide. In fact, I couldn't even uh, rack the slide back. Um, <clears throat> you could feel it scraping along the bottom of the, the slide. So uh, that's a no-go. Otherwise, it, it fit and it latched. Um, the other gun that it would actually fit in but would not latch was the uh, the, uh, the Canic TP9 SAs that I have. Um, and probably that's because the that's a full size gun um, and so the the latch I guess uh, cutouts on the magazine probably aren't reaching the proper spot to latch in place so uh, if they were they might fit into the uh, the, the TP uh, 9 SF Elite because that's a that's a that's a gun I believe they that one is designed to take 15 round mags um, it comes with 15 round mags, and you can actually use the uh, the TP9 SFs and SA mags with that gun as well, and they'll they'll stick out just like they would, you know, they do with my uh, 15 round mags in the Grand Power P11. So uh, <clears throat> I I asked the lady, you know, I called, you know, well, I emailed them and I asked them. Uh, what was up? I was like, you know, I I looked at my uh, the invoice 
and you know because at first I thought I had ordered the wrong mags um, and the invoice said that I ordered three 12 round mags so I was like okay well I didn't make a mistake you guys gave me the wrong mags and she double checked and she was like yeah we did um, the labeling's wrong in the warehouse on the, I guess where they keep the product at so I was like okay well uh, how do I fix this because I want what I paid for um, and so she was like, "Well, we'll send you an RMA slip, so you get so you can send it back." And I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute! You don't have any? You mean to tell me you don't actually you don't have any twelve round mags at all?" And she was like, "No, sir." So I was like, "Oh shit!" So I, I wish they I would have known that if they would have labeled that properly, they would have shown as out of stock for the twelve round magazines. Uh, so uh, that's a ding on. Uh, Cheaper than dirt. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I was kind of ticked off about that um, because if I would have known that, I would have went somewhere else and I wouldn't have had an issue more than likely. Uh, but <laughs> last night when I went to the range, I just went ahead and took the the mags with me and I opened them all up. So uh, I can't return them now. And uh, that's fine. I can use those as uh, range magazines. And if I have to, I can use those as spares, uh, backup magazines for when I carry. Um, and it would be nice if I could find a place that would, I think, uh, Red Hill Tactical. Uh, they specialize in building, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Kydex holsters for the Grand Powers. I could ask them if they could model a magazine sleeve for use on 15 round magazines so you can use them in P11s. Now I don't know I don't know how much that's going to cost and I don't know how much develop time it would be. I'm, I'm thinking it might not be too too much. I mean, they already doesn't take them long to kind of he, he's got a lot of a uh, grand power um holster so I figure it wouldn't uh it wouldn't be too much to kind of build a sleeve, but I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is too much. Uh, but anyways, it, it's not a huge deal. Uh, and when I was shooting the gun, um, I shot all of that 100 rounds of ammo with the 15 round magazines. And uh, I, sh I, I kept my hold the same as it would if I was uh, if I were using a 12 round. So I wasn't having my hand hanging off to try and take advantage of the extra length and because that's that's another reason why I actually wanted the 12 rounders because if I was to train I'd be training just as if uh, if I were firing it with the 12 round mags which means that there's no uh, I'm not using the longer mags as a crutch you know so uh I don't know if I'm making this more complicated than it should be. But anyways, uh, this video has gone on long enough. I don't want it to be too long. I uh, just wanted everyone to kind of... Um, I've been getting uh, <clears throat> messages asking me um, if I'm still shooting the Grand Power, any updates on the issues I was having before. Uh, the answer to that is no. Um, I'm I I'm not having any more issues because I'm not shooting that that badass uh, ammo anymore. Um, no, it's not a Glock. Um, it's not. I don't I don't expect it to shoot um, all and every type of ammo. And I know for a fact that it's an ammo related problem because the exact same thing happened with my XD9. Um, it was hiccuping off of the exact same batch of ammo uh, as I was shooting out of the Grand Power. 
Um, and I had a very large batch. I believe I bought a, a batch of 500. Uh, so it wasn't the fact that it was flat nose that was, you know, that was causing a problem. Um, there is some, I want to say there's some design flaw with Remington. Um, the Grand Power actually shot, it, it doesn't mind uh, the yellow box stuff, uh, the mega box. Um, it'll chew on that all day. It's the green and white box stuff that it doesn't like. Um, it also doesn't like the HDP stuff. Um, it choked on that, uh, I think, this past May. It's in my, uh, my, uh, range notes. Um, so it doesn't like, it doesn't like Remington at all. And a lot of people were telling me, well, maybe, maybe there's something wrong with the gun. Maybe, you know, it's got such high tolerances that, that, uh, you know, it, it's finicky. And then at first I thought, okay, maybe that's it. But no. If if two guns of two different makes, they they have nothing in common whatsoever, are choking on the same uh, make and model of ammo, that tells me there's something wrong with that ammo. And uh, the XD9 Springfield XD9 Mod 2 is the, the tolerances are quite a bit looser than the Grand Power. And it still choked on it. What happened was that uh, uh, in a, cu a couple of rounds um, were giving me issues. Now, <clears throat> the thing about the uh, the Grand Power is, I was having feed issues, and I was having failures to re you know to return the battery. Um, but uh, there were a couple of rounds that actually um, they wouldn't go into the chamber that they wouldn't feed and so when I took a look at the ammo uh, they were crinkled on the, the leading edge of the brass they were catching on the, the edge of the chamber and I, I thought that was kind of peculiar and I'm like is there something wrong with this ammo because in order for it to do that it has to be out of spec otherwise if it was a gun it would be doing that every single time to the ammo but it wasn't uh, and so you know I kinda just put that off to the side as a you know kind of a something to ponder later on but then I was shooting some of the ammo out of the the XD9 and the same thing happened not only that it actually went in and it got inserted into the chamber but it was wedged in there tight enough to where it wouldn't do anything I couldn't rack it back it was stuck it was stuck good. Um, I, I actually got some uh, ranger officer help. Um, they couldn't get it open. It was passed to another ranger officer. Uh, he was finally able to get it open. Um, but then when, when I looked at the round, it was showing the exact same symptoms. It was kind of crinkled on the leading edge of the uh, the brass. So I was like, what the hell? So, uh, yeah, um, I saw that one other time with the T100, and that is super loose tolerances. Uh, that thing is pretty much a battle gun. Um, and guess what? I mean, it it I put it back in the uh, in the gun, and it fired. It it chambered and fired without issue. So um, that gonna eat anything. So um. So I, I will avoid uh, Remington. I still have some left. I shot all the flat nose, but I still have some HDP. Um, I got a bunch for 45, but I don't think my 45s are going to be choking on that. Um, the rest I have. Uh, I have some nine millimeters. It's batched as subsonic. I guess it's for suppressed guns. Um, the Grand Power does not like that either. Um, so I'll fire it out of one of the other guns. I have a ton of 19, uh, I have a ton of 9 millimeters. I want to say, uh, 
all but three or four of my guns are uh, nine millimeter. So uh, it, whatever the Grand Power doesn't like, uh, the other nine millimeters should eat. But anyways, okay, we're now at 35 minutes. Let's go ahead and quit this. All right, take care.